Hello everyone, Forgotten here, and today, Hawk has finally, after months and months of being pretty mid, Hawk Neither has finally, I finally obtained a rework chat. So Dronic is talking to me right now, he says, Be aggressive and deal damage to get meter. Counters, then M2s, light attacks, and then block it. That's what gets up your meter, I think, in a, in, in a little, little category. Each mode has different stats for how much meter it gives, and uh, later modes give less. Uh, and each mode has a different stat for how fast the meter decreases, and how long to wait after an action when it starts to decrease. Basically, getting to Bloodlust is easy, and staying there is a bit harder. Getting to Ecstasy is fairly easy, but staying there is very hard. Alright, and then I asked Drowning, well, can you give us any specific stats? for the you know for the hawk little thingy so the audience can know what they're working with and drowning says right 33 equal bloodlust 66 plus equal ecstasy uh, this is how the meter is calculated one time 70 1.75 the counter damage is the multiplier for the meter basically if you do six damage heavy let's say you'd get plus six meter times the multiplier base equals 2.2 Bloodlust equals 1.1, Ecstasy equals 1 0.65. You can think of it like you get half as much meter in Bloodlust, and uh, and half of that is about in Ecstasy. The meter drains passively. Alright, so Drowning's yapping too much here. I, I think uh, we don't really understand what he's talking about here. But from what I'm getting, he's talking about the percentages of the meter charging up and the multipliers and whatever the frick not, right? Two's, two per second on base, three on bloodlust and point, etc. Drowning says it increases per form. So if you have 50 charge or 40 AK in the meter, so if you have like 50% of the meter or 40% of the meter, you're still in bloodlust. Same amount. The damage increases by a little bit, around 0.5 when each form start punches. But the important part is it is anti heal. It goes from 0 0.1 to 30, 0.35 to 0.5. All right. So now I know what each mode does. Essentially, chat, get in the ring. Somebody get in the ring. The uh, the e each part of the meter gives you anti heal property. So if, if I'm hitting you right, you you can currently heal right. And each mode that I go into. Your ability to heal decreases by a certain by a certain by a certain multiplier. So if I'm fighting you in base mode, it decreases your healing by 0.1. If I'm in bloodlust, 0.35, and if I'm in ecstasy, 0.5. I'm taking away your ability to heal, which gives the illusion that I'm doing more damage. But in reality, you just can't heal like that. You guys can see on the side as I'm hitting Tron, right? You guys can see his health. He's currently healing that much, and when I enter Ecstasy, he is barely healing at all, right? So that is essentially what Meter does. It decreases their healing, so your opponent can't really heal anymore. Which means it's gonna be really good after you your opponent. They can't run away. If, they, if you catch them once with an M1 combo, it's gonna take away their healing properties. Your damage doesn't increase that much. So apparently 0.5 per mode. So this is my current base damage, 0.5, right? Now it's gonna be a little more. And stuff like that. You get the points. Essentially, what I said, bloodlust increases your damage. So you get most of your ba you get most of your mode by doing counter damage. When you do counter damage, it gives you most of the of the stat up. After that, your M2s are the second thing that gives the most like gives you the most meter. After that, is light attack, and the thing that gives you the least amount of meter is blocking. Don't you get faster with like every every mode? I, he hasn't explained that, but I am pretty sure you get faster with each mode. So every mode that I'm in, I progressively get faster, I believe. Yeah, like I'm once, I'm once. I, I think my M ones and my overall speed. I believe in ecstasy. You move, you know, you know, freedom, freedom mode, right? When you're in freedom yeah. mode and you're running around fast, it's like that fast in ecstasy mode. Okay, you can fight back. You can fight back now. It's good. You can fight back now, Tron. It's okay. So I'm currently in ecstasy like mode. Freedom, right? I'm, I'm currently in ecstasy mode, and I'm moving around way faster. You can, like, see, like, my movements in the ring are faster, but I feel like most of all my M1s are just better, you know, when I'm swaying chat. So, essentially, I, my correct, my, my initial guess on meter was correct. It increases your just overall abilities and properties. I'm moving around faster, so, yeah, stuff like that. So, it is really, really hard to stay in ecstasy mode. I gotta keep comboing Tron, which is kinda impossible, because he keeps on using the gay shit. So, I gotta keep comboing him in order to keep up my meter. If I'm doing just random hits, it's not really gonna keep up my meter, chat. So, that's just what it is. So, essentially, in order to keep ecstasy mode in, you, you really need to uh, try hard. That's just what it is. You really gotta try hard like that with the M2, the little sweaty thingies like that. It's gonna keep your meter up. Uh, but it's hard. It's hard. 
So I think the most beneficial mode to stick around would probably be Bloodlust, because Bloodlust is just built different, you know, when I'm swaying chat. So that's just what it is. And the dashes feel pretty nice, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, the dash, uh, like, feel pretty clean. So that's that, that's that, that's that. Other than that, nothing really changed. Now I'm just gonna comment on how I feel about this free work chat. By the way, to all of you who understood what Johnny was saying, I congratulate you, honestly. <laughs> I, I kind of understood, like, the partial things about it, but that's just... No! Tron! Well, the craziest part is the back dash with Hawk. Yeah, yeah so you cannot, like, dash. It's crazy. I'm not used to being able to dash with Hawk. Way back, though. I think Sway back went pretty crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sway back went pretty crazy back in the day. I think a good addition would be to increase, like, old damage, maybe, maybe, on the, on the Hawk. That would have been pretty funny, chat. All right, everyone, no, thank you. Penis, I'll do it later. Oh. Thank you for watching, chat. So that is how Hawk currently works. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, goodbye.